Okay, we've got another demo for you. This is the hardware that's driving this demo, and this is the demo, and I'm going to reset it, wherein we are trying to get it to position well. We're watching twin 64 by 64 panels being controlled as a single display, and with a new demo. This is the Morphing Digits demo that I've been took a couple days off to do and is in its own separate GitHub repository. Um, this is patterned after uh, Harry's video. Um, he has a video called Morphing Digits, and he poses the challenge of can we do uh, random digits. You'll see two types of transitions here, kind of a snaky look where segments go on end to end, and then kind of a whole column move where the uh, e and the left edge segments transition to the right, as sliding as the whole column. Um, let's see. Um, the animations are agnostic of segment length, and so you see me doing three different segment lengths. Yellow, green are one length. The bluish is another length, and the red is uh, yet a in-between length. A length that's arbitrary for this code. Um, this is written... Let's see. The other aspect of this is that he identified transitions 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and then backwards 9 to 8, 8 to 7, 7 to 6, and had those transitions encoded. But uh, he challenged us to um, handle random transitions because it's a, a very a larger number of transitions when you go from any digit to any digit. The uh, the significance of the red area then the four digit bottom right is that this is random numbers showing that the algorithm has been extended to um, random transitions. How did I do this? This is table driven. This is um, each segment is a separate object and then each digit is a collection of the segment objects and then each counter is a collection of the digit objects. The counters have behaviors. Uh, the blue is the countdown, uh, the yellow and green are clocks, and the red is just to accept any given value and show it. And I'm doing random number generator generation in that case. Um, that's the demo. Um, the code is available in GitHub. It runs on top of the matrix driver. And um, there's more description at the GitHub repository itself. Thanks for watching.